हेलो वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल सो लास्ट वीडियो में हमने क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थर्टी किया था और इस वीडियो में हमने क्वेश्चन ऐड किए हैं और एग्जिट एग्जाम में थर्टी क्वेश्चन ही पूछे जाते हैं जिसमें से फिफ्टी परसेंट ही पासिंग होता है तो अगर आप क्वेश्चन करके जाते हैं तो फिफ्टीन या ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन मैच हो सकते हैं या फिर प्रिंसिपल मैच होगा कभी कभी क्वेश्चन थोड़ा कुछ कुछ क्वेश्चन थोड़ा घुमा के पूछे जाते हैं और कुछ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन इनमें से आ सकते हैं सो लेट्स बिगिन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन इज Immediately after abandoning a vessel, lookout should be posted aboard life raft to look for dash, and the correct answer from this options is survivor in the water. Next, after abandoning a vessel, water consumed within the first 24 hours dash, and the correct answer from these options is will pass through the body with very little being absorbed by the system. Next, a feature of an inflatable life raft which helps keep people stationary in rough weather is dash, and the correct answer from the options is lifelines on the inside of the raft. Next, your life raft is to leeward of a fire on the water and riding to its sea anchor. You should first. Correct answer from this option is boat the sea anchor. Next, if a life raft should capsize, dash. The correct answer is, ride the raft using the riding straps. Next, an inflatable life raft is thrown into the water from a sinking vessel. What should occur after the painter trips the CO2 bottle to inflate the raft? And the correct answer from these options is. The sea anchor should be deployed as soon you are away from the vessel. Next, to turn over a life raft that is floating upside down, you should pull on the and the correct answer is writing lines. You have abandoned a ship and are in an inflatable raft that has just inflated. You hear a continuous hissing coming from a fitting in a buoyancy tube. What is the cause of this? And the correct answer from this is excess inflation pressure is bleeding off and should soon stop. Next, after abandoning ship, you should deploy the sea anchor from a raft to dash. And the correct answer from this is stay in the general location. Next, a life raft which has inflated bottom up on the water. The correct answer is should be righted by standing on the CO2 cylinder, holding the riding straps and leaning backwards. Next, when a rescue vessel approaches a lifeboat in heavy seas, the person in charge of the lifeboat should dash. The correct answer from the options are wait for calmer weather before transferring personnel. Next, you are at sea in an inflatable life raft in high latitude. The greatest danger is dash, and the correct answer is hypothermia caused by cold temperature. Next, when a helicopter is lifting personnel from a survival craft, the other individual in the craft should. The correct answer is remain seated inside the craft to provide body weight for stability. Next, you are involved in an emergency landing of a helicopter on the water. You should inflate your life jacket dash. The correct answer is after exiting clear of the helicopter. Next, a man aboard a vessel, signaling by raising and lowering his outstretched arm to each side, indicating. The correct answer is a distress signal. Next, when a helicopter is lifting personnel from a rescue boat, the other individual in the boat should dash. The correct answer is remain seated inside to provide body weight for stability. Next, the primary danger in helicopter fires is dash. The correct answer from this is burning jet fuel running on to quarters or other areas. Next, what should you do with your emergency position indicating radio beacon? If you are in life raft during storm condition, the correct answer is bring it inside the life raft and leave it on. Next, your vessel has been damaged and is taking on water. 
but you do not require immediate assistance you would prefer a message advising other vessel of a situation with dash and the correct answer is pan pan three times next when personnel are lifted by helicopter from an inflatable life raft the personnel on the raft should the correct answer is deflate the floor of the raft to reduce the danger of capsizing next you are involved in an emergency landing of a helicopter on the water you should inflate your life jacket and the correct answer is after exiting clear of the helicopter next every life buoy shall have an outer diameter of not more than and the correct answer is 800 mm next wearing an immersion suit you must be able to jump from a height of 4.5 meter or 15 feet into the water do you agree and the correct answer is yes next fitted with reflective tape and life jacket lights what would be the expected range of visibility in darkness from where the victim location can be identified and the correct answer is 1 mile next which statement about immersion suit is true and from this option the correct answer is the suit must without assistant turn an unconscious person's mouth clear of water within 5 seconds next wearing a life jacket what will be a maximum safe height above the water that you can jump from and the correct answer is 4.5 meter or 15 feet next a thermal protective aid should permit the wearer to remove it in the water and the correct answer is in not more than 2 minutes next how is the external flotation bladder of an immersion suit inflated the correct answer from this option is it is inflated by blowing through an inflation tube next how much time will you take to don the life jacket correctly and the correct answer is 1 minute next immersion suit can be unpacked and donned and the correct answer is 2 minutes next you are aboard a life raft in a storm what should you do with your emergency position indicating radio beacon and the correct answer is bring it inside the raft and leave it on next which is the life saving signal for this is the best place to land and the correct answer is green star rocket next if you wish to transmit a message by voice concerning the safety of navigation you would prefer it by the word and the correct answer is security next what does epo stand for and the correct answer is emergency position indicating radio beacon next how can a sart's effective range be maximized and the correct answer is the sart should be held as high as possible next bridge man overboard smoke marker gives orange smoke for and the correct answer is 15 minutes next the signal to guide vessel in distress which indicate this is the best place to land is the and the correct answer from this is letter k in morse code given by light next batteries for vhf survival craft trans receiver must have sufficient capacity to operate for a minimum of and the correct answer is 8 hours thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos